Hello, good day. I'm Ari Esquerra, and for today, I will be talking about discrete and continuous variables. First, what is continuous variable? Continuous data is data that can be measured, so if you're measuring something, it's not only going to be whole numbers, it can be decimal numbers or fractions. In discrete variable, discrete data is data that is counted and it's very easy to count whole numbers and natural numbers. At the example of for discrete variable, it is considered counted like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or number of. A discrete variable is also a natural numbers. For continuous variable, it is considered as measured or it can have a point, for example, 6.7 or 4.567. For another example, in discrete variable, number of pages in a book, or shoe size, or number of people in a race. And for example, in continuous variable, length of a film, or temperature. So now we will be having an exercise so we know that if we learned something or not. You can get a pencil and paper to write down your answers. First, wind speed. Is it discrete or continuous? Yes, continuous. Because it can have a um, middle range of numbers or it can have a point. Next, number of votes in the election. Is it continuous or discrete? The answer is discrete. Why? Because number of votes in the election is a natural number. Next, votes of electricity. Is it discrete or continuous? correct it is continuous why because faults are measured next water temperature is it discrete or continuous the answer is continuous because water temperature or temperature itself is measured number of eggs is it discrete or continuous Correct, it is discrete because it is a natural number and it is a it can be an exact number. Lastly, purchasing of tickets. Is it discrete or continuous? Yes, it is discrete. In conclusion, discrete is considered as counted or it has an exact number. And continuous are always measured.